Oh, have a look. Best of luck, yeah. Cookery, yes. Now, some for Juliet in the kitchen with a scone slash scone masterclass. Hi, George. Yeah. Hello. How are yeah. you doing? I'm doing very well. Um, and, yeah, masterclass, I mean, it's actually pretty simple, but there's a few things to bear masterclass. in mind. Masterclass. Very well, exciting. yes, um, it's on. very serious business, no, but it's all about how you, you don't want to overhandle the dough, you want to, like, touch it as little as possible. Why, um, why is that the case? Be because if um, uh, the flour has gluten in it and when you, when you need, you know, if you're kneading bread, yeah. it's really stretchy and springy, that makes it actually quite heavy and dense. So with sponges and, and scones, you want to not handle the flour so it stays nice and light and fluffy. So the lighter the bread, the less it's been handled, yeah. basically. Well, oh, yeah, I didn't know exactly. that. Yeah. Um, so, starting off with um, savoury. Is it the same base recipe for it's, everything? It's a um, similar base recipe. The savoury one's a little bit different. Um, but, I mean, yeah, the sweet one is literally the same base and you can just add bits and pieces in. So, I'm doing this one in a food processor. Just, this is a very quick way of doing it, but you can do it by hand as well. Yeah. So, in there, we've got some flour. Now, to that, for the savoury ones, I love to add a nice clonk of mustard powder, because it makes it really punchy and savoury. Right. Extra baking powder and some salt. Yeah. Just give that a little bit of a whiz to... We were talking earlier in our meeting, we love a bit of paprika in there sometimes. Oh, yeah, a bit of paprika's there. lovely, a bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of chi chilli Ooh. flakes, if you like. This is the thing, you can really, whatever you like, in, you can just add whatever you want. It's up to you. you. Yeah. yeah. Your thoughts, your rules. We don't have any chilli flakes, because Claudia used them, like, literally all the chilli flakes in the world <laughs> yesterday. And <I'm> Blew <laughs> your head off. <laughs> so, literally, all you want to do is just very gently just pulse that, just to kind of allow it to become like a breadcrumb um, consistency. Once you've done that, you're going to add in the lovely cheese. I've got loads of hard cheese here. I've got... Oh, all over the floor. Loads of um, cheddar. You can use any hard cheese you like. If you've got odds and ends of like silton, any sort of like hard cheeses. Yeah. Well, and is it like Parmesan. saltier the better in terms of? Cause you, it's you, for me. Well, because you want the taste, right? Yeah, exactly. I love it really salty. Um, and I've added some spring onions in here. Um, you could use wild garlic. You can use chives. Yeah. Um, just adding a little bit of flavour there. So I just gently pulse that, and then I'm going to add. I've got an egg there. And I'm just adding some milk. So that's your liquid. So liquid, go, liquid goes in at the end. Yeah. And you literally don't want to... Like, you don't want to knead this so it comes together into a ball like you would for other dough. Yeah. You're literally just going to pulse this a few times. If you haven't got one of those machines, because I haven't got one of those machines, can you just use the you mixing? I'm going to show you on, yeah. the, on the plain ones. You can. Okay. Literally, you can do it literally like that. So, as you can see, it's kind of, like, come together. Then you want oh. to dump it out onto the surface. Just very gently bring it together with your hands. Don't knead it like you would oh, bread. Just touch it very lightly and just form it into a sort of round. Yeah. So you can do it with cut-out shapes. This way is a really easy way where you just um, form it into a round. You don't need a tin or anything. Um, and you can just cut it into wedges. So that's how I like to do my savoury Oh, ones. like this? Like I'll take, uh, yeah, that's yeah. it. So really? Have you tried the savoury one yet? No, not yet. You, but do you, you know what I did? I put, oven, I put two you? in the oven. Oh, great. So I wanted it warm. Shall I go yeah, and get yeah, it? It's yeah, nice yeah. to be warm. <laughs> I put them in the oven because I just thought, yeah. they're freezing cold, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're freezing cold. I mean, to be fair, we did only bake them about an hour ago, but there's some, nothing oh, like they're just right now. having something fresh and warm out the oven, is there? Right. So I've got my egg wash on there. Well done. Loads more cheese. Oh, yeah, lovely. And then literally just section that off oh, into that. wedges like that. You can use a knife if you want. I'm just using like a dough um, cutter because you get a really nice big, clean. Isn't it, it's a bit too big to be you honest, but travel, you travel <laughs> a bit around with that. Or... Yeah, just whip it out of a back pocket. Like a magician or something. <laughs> <laughs> like a portable guillotine. <laughs> Top <it> off. Yeah. <laughs> So literally, just um, pop them onto the tray and then bake them for a bit on 180 mm. until they're really. Well, luckily, Alison turned the oven on, so it's nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, it's on for you. I'm just going to leave them there. I I'm don't think go I've on... ever had um, a savoury scone. Before. Haven't you? This is my first. Like sa it? It's lovely. Oh, I love it with loads of um, yeah. extra extra butter and salt. So doing it by hand. This is your plain one. You've got the um, flour and the butter in here, which you just rub together like you're doing with a pastry, mm -hmm. so it resembles bre breadcrumbs. Then I'm adding in a little bit of sugar, not a lot. Just use a knife here, and then we've got our liquid. So we've got some vanilla and some milk, and you just literally, in the bowl, bring it together. So you could do this with the savoury. Just bring it together with a knife. Yeah. Um, just till it sort of... All the moisture goes into the flour. Once it sort of, like, comes together like that, again, tip it out onto the surface, bring it together like this. Is there a reason why you're using that 
uh, just hand by that by hand, and that one's a food processor. Just to show both methods. Oh, okay, fine. Just want it in case you haven't got a food processor, but but either work. Um, just very very a very very light touch is what you want. Um, and then for the, for the plain ones, you can literally do this plain dough and throw in some different spices. We've got some cinnamon, some ginger, some fruit, some lemon zest, some orange zest, and that's a vehicle for lots of different flavours. And with these ones, it's lovely just to kind of cut them out in the rounds. So you've got some nice, um, fresh ones there. And they're lovely just to split apart and add some jam, some cream. And some cream. cream. Oh, and the cream's amazing. Exactly. Which way round you do your cream and your, your jam? Because that's always another thing. And that People is a big one, isn't it? People which, which I, I way would it should be. cream first and then the jam on top. Would you? Yeah. I don't know if that's what correct. About? I'm the same. Really? I'm cream the same. first. Yeah. I know, we're, I think one's Cornish and one's Devon, isn't that's it? That's right. I think that's the Devon way. The Cornish way. way is with the clotted cream on the top. Yeah. So then you can see that lovely kind of the, cru the golden crust. But I hope I haven't cream. caused any of I know. <laughs> no, no, as soon as you say it. Doing it that way. <laughs> Do you know what Andrew Ridge is like yesterday? Is he... Andrew, how are you doing? Are you, are you a scone fan? I, I'm a... Yeah, big scone fan, and these look like great scones, scones, I call them, but... Andrew, um, crack it, on, man. Don't worry. It, you want it, a cup of tea or something? It's raspberry jam. It's, it's heresy. <laughs> oh, has it have got raspberry there? Y oh. Yes, it should be strawberry. Everyone knows that. <laughs> oh, I've broken the rules. That is... Oh, oh. failed. <laughs> Honestly. Failed. <laughs> Got it. Get out of here, you liar. Thank you so <laughs> much. We'll be seeing you very shortly, Andrew. <laughs> Thanks, Juliet. Thank you. Right, so yeah. nice. Really good. Uh, for details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our amazing This Morning chefs, head to the free This Morning app. Yeah, still